Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ. Look at this, 30 quid. 30 quid, look. You can't believe it, can you? I bought it. Oh, by the way, this isn't a review. I'm not doing a review on this. I bought this myself, no one supplied it. I used to do a lot of reviews in the old days, but I'm retired now and I can't be bothered, to be honest. So this isn't a review, it's just me saying, look, I bought this and I'll tell you about it. Um, yeah, it's uh, very small, as you can see internal batteries and you've got your charging lead, your telescopic aerial and stuff like that. Uh, FM, what is it? I think it's 70, 76 to 108 megs. And it's uh, long wave, medium wave, short wave. It is quite incredible, actually. I've seen these advertised for £24. Anyway, this one was 30 Be aware of the cheap knockoffs. I mean, this is cheap anyway, but I've read somewhere that there are well, they call some knockoff versions of this that aren't any good. You get the little telescopic area with it, which is plugged in the back there. Okay. And it's quite good. Let me just turn it on and I'll show you what, uh, what happens. There we are. You've got a little screen that lights up. It's all very small, as you can see, but let's just have a listen. Right. Let's turn it up. That's shortwave. That's 60. Turn that down. 6040 kilohertz, all right. Is that the 49 meter band or something? So that's that. It's fairly, hang on. It's fairly early in the day, so propagation isn't at its best. I'm now going to compare that with, hang on, with the low HF150. There we are. Picking up some interference. The thing is, this, I know this is, uh, when, when were these made? Was it uh, 80s or 90s or whenever? Uh, this has a bigger speaker so it will sound a bit better but the sensitivity is about the same and I mean look at it it's tiny isn't it on the back you've got a charging lead it's got batteries in it you've got a charging lead you get the telescopic aerial with it a BNC socket for the aerial there's a headphone socket FM is good on this as well so uh, on off switch on the back then on the front, you've got a band up and down, so you can just switch from band to band. Volume, step, so the frequency steps, you know. Uh, AGC mode, so you've got upper side band, lower side band, AM, FM. Bandwidth, you can change the bandwidth, narrow it down on shortwave, which is useful. And the volume control. And that is the tuning. Okay. That changes the on the little screen there. It's very small. I've put the information on my website, g4nsj.co.uk. Go to the main menu, look under communications receivers, and there is the ATS20+. Plus. It is a communications receiver, isn't it? It's good. Also, uh, something else, when you're on lower or upper sideband, if you click that, you are then adjusting the BFO frequency. And it actually comes up on the screen, the BFO frequency, to resolve the sideband station. So that's another little feature of it, which is, uh, which is excellent. But I'm quite surprised. As I said, I bought it because I thought, this has got to be rubbish. It really has got to be rubbish, hasn't it? I mean, it's 30 quid or less. And I just wanted to see what it was like. I sat up in bed with it the other morning. What was it? About three o'clock. I put headphones in the back, plugged in, plugged in the headphones, and I'm tuning around on its own area on shortwave, picking up all sorts of stuff, listening to Radio Romania and uh, various other stations on shortwave. And it's really good. I made a little recording, was it 9765 kilohertz Romania, Bucharest? Uh, have a look at the little video clip. It's just me on this little area, just holding the thing. The you know, phone camera moves around a bit. I think it was about 8 o'clock in the evening when I made this recording. Have a look. Obviously, because he's from me. 
She reports an excellent signal strength, no interference, weak noise, medium propagation disturbances, and a 4 for the overall grade. In the comments, she simply says, great program, listen all the time. We are happy that we got such great reception half across the world. And we just want to say, Richard, keep listening and keep writing to us with those awesome reception reports. It was a bit wobbly because I've got this here, the camera here, and I'm kind of trying to do this. But that just gives you an idea on its own little aerial. I mean, Romania, they're probably running about you know 10 megawatts, so it's uh, it wasn't exactly DX. But you saw there was a bit of QSB as well. Did you hear that quick fading in and out now and then? But that's quite amazing, isn't it, for the size of the radio, picking up stuff like that. I won't just chew around anymore. You know, you can uh, you can find all sorts of stations on here. I found loads of stuff. The, um, oh, what is it, Volmet on? Is it 5505? Five, five, oh, five? I can't remember. 5 meg somewhere. Volmet, uh, weather forecast for aircraft and stuff. Um, that came in quite well, upper side band, just on its own aerial again, that's not too bad at all. The only thing is, if you use a, a long wire aerial, if you get spikes down the aerial, it could wreck the chip in there, it can zap it, from what I've read. So I was going to, I took the bottom off, I tried to get the bottom off, you can take the top off easily, but to get the bottom off, you've got to take the whole thing to bits, and I wasn't going to do that. I wanted to fit a couple of Schottsky diodes uh, across the aerial socket, back-to-back -back diodes, which would deal with any spikes coming down the aerial. So what I did, I didn't want to take the whole thing to bits. It's all very compact in there. I've got a BNC plug to go into the aerial socket. Then it's a bit of a bodge, I know, but in there are the Schottky diodes. And that crocodile clip is for a long wire aerial. So you just stick that there and put your wire on there. So that just protects the chip from spikes because you know, I don't want to blow the thing up. Um, this no, it wasn't. This wasn't eighties or nineties, was it? I believe this was seventies, wasn't it? I don't know. These are worth a fortune. They really are worth a lot of money. Look on eBay for a low HF one hundred and fifty LOWE receiver. This is really for a bit of fun. It's great for tuning around shortwave, especially at night. You've got stations coming in from everywhere. But if you want a, a decent communications receiver, then you want something a bit better than this. You know, let, let's be honest, this is it's very good. It compares well with this. And uh, on a decent aerial, it's, it's, it's excellent actually. But as I say, if you want a decent communications receiver, you know, you're not going to get one for 30 quid, are you? Let's be honest, 30 quid. But I'm really pleased with that. I thought from the things I've read, various forums, some people say, a load of rubbish, don't waste your money. Other people have said, it's fantastic, it's really good. Let's just try a, a local FM station out of interest. When you turn it on, it takes a while to come on. The valves aren't warming up. <laughs> Uh, as with our old radio, it's loading up, it's booting up, you know. There we are, it's booting up. If we go to FM, uh, where are we, mode? There we are, FM. Now if I go to, uh, what's our local one? Um, Welcome to the programme. Thank you very much for having me. We are that's delighted. BBC Radio 4. And yes to performing for us. I can't and wait. Yes. Shall we do it? Yes, let's do it. This is He Will Follow With Sighs. Now that's not bad. In here there's a lot of interference. I've got two computers running, loads of other stuff running, and that's Radio 4. Um, what else have we got? I don't know what that is. Radio 1 or something or other. Where's our local? We've got Classic FM. Where's our local? 107.7 I think is our local rubbish. I mean our local radio station. Uh, 107, there we are, that's alright, nope, nope, so, turn that off, that is quite amazing, this one is very heavy, this one's got a load of rechargeable batteries in the back, and you've got uh, various things, you've got 
Oh, oh, I was going to say on this, there is a, an attenuator, AGC on and off, uh, bandwidth control. There's all sorts on there. It's a tiny chip. I looked it up. I forget the number of the chip. I looked it up. Basically, all this is, is one, well, no, there's a couple of chips in there. I don't know what the other one does, all the control aspect. But uh, anyway, I won't go on about it too much. But there it is. If you want to order one, just look up ATS uh, hyphen 20 plus. ATS 20 plus. So medium wave, short wave, SSB, NSB, upper sideband, FM, AM. It's, it's fantastic. Look at that. And you get four little rubber feet that you stick on yourself. There. Isn't that sweet? Is that the right word? I don't know. It's good fun, isn't it? I've been reading about it and you can download, there's two sockets, one for charging and the other one, uh, you can plug, what's it, USB download, plug it into your computer. Uh, I've only got one lead, I've put the other one somewhere, probably in the box. You can update the, the version number, you know, and someone was saying online somewhere, download some other version and it does a lot of improvements. I, I haven't looked into that even yet, but I might do at some stage. Uh, there's some pictures of it, look, so you can have a look. There's a close-up of the front with all the controls there, which is quite nice. I know the display is very small there, but it's uh, it's perfectly good enough to read. There's the back of it, so you can see the aerial socket, phone socket and stuff. And finally, a picture of the inside. Now, that's where I took the top off, so you can have a look inside. I took the top off so I could fit the diodes across the aerial socket but of course as you can see you can't get to it it's underneath and to get to underneath as I said you you've got to take the whole thing apart the front off the back off and everything which I didn't want to do I know that's a bodge but it works doesn't it it's good enough you want some sort of uh, arrangement to fit a wire on uh, this way I thought it's quite a good idea because I can use any piece of wire clip that onto any bit of wire of the window or whatever so there we are. This one is, I must look it up, uh, HF Communications Receiver by Low Electronics Limited. Oh, there's a, what's that? Oh, yes, you can plug a keypad into this, which I haven't got, for choosing the frequency and punching the frequency you want, rather than do it on the front there. Um, I must look up when this was manufactured. These are highly sought after basically because it's a very early solid state communications receiver it's very stable upper sideband lower sideband you, know, you don't have to keep retuning the thing as it warms up so don't listen to people that say oh there's nothing on shortwave waste of time shortwave that died years ago of course it didn't it's like people that say oh morse code no one uses morse code that's dead who uses more co morse code these days well i do for a start and there's more than just me in the whole world. There's Morse code stations everywhere. I was tuning around the other day. I had a contact with a bloke in Italy. That Coast Guard radio keeps bursting into life. I don't know what they're doing. It's dark outside now. It's, uh, where are we? It's Sunday. No, it's not. It's Saturday. I don't know what day it is. Quarter past five, Saturday. And he was saying, the Italian chap, I said, uh, you know, do you have many CW contacts, Morse code contacts? He said, yeah, it's all I do. He doesn't use a microphone, he just uses Morse code all the time, which is good. I think I've chatted to him before, actually, on uh, on the key, as they say. I ought to have more Morse code contacts, really, because it, you know, get your speed up and keep things going. So if you're into shortwave listening, if you're an SWL, -er, is that right, SWL? -er? <laughs> get one of these, just for a bit of fun. Sort of thing you can take out and about. As I said earlier, bear in mind, in here, I'm surrounded by interference everywhere i've got chargers plugged in i've got two computers running all sorts running in here and there's just so much interference when i take this out into the garden on its own little telescopic aerial things improve greatly uh, interference wise i'll put that back in its place up there the hf150 got the hro here the what's this r209 the cr100 i don't know whether you can see that can you uh, just about see that uh yesu FRG7. This is my receiving area, the transmitting area is over there. So, okay, yeah, g4nsj.co.uk, go to the main menu, communications receivers, and look for the ATS20. Plus.
That'll do. Not much more to say. Well, there is loads more I could say about it, but I don't want to bore you. Right. See you next time. Thanks for watching as always. Bye bye for now.